Hello everyone, Nikhil this side from Coding Beam. So in this video, we will learn about the router in the React and how to use the router functionality in a React application. So about the router in the React, the router is used for navigating through different pages of a React application. And the pages can be the different different components. So we move to different components with the help of a React router. So we need the React router to navigate through different pages or files or components in our application. And to use that functionality first, we have to install the React Router DOM and then we have to wrap the app component with the browser router. And the browser router is used for doing some client side routing with the URL segments and we can load a top level component for each route with a browser router. And then we need to use multiple routes within the application. So it allows us to navigate between the different pages of our application and it has very good performance and it doesn't refresh the page while moving to any route. So this is about the React Router. So now we will see that how can we implement the router functionality in the React by seeing the demo of it. So now we are in the Visual Studio code and now we need to install the React Router DOM from it. So I will now stop the server from it and then we need to install the React Router DOM. So it will be npm install it will be the React dash router dash tom so it will be installed in a moment and then we need to wrap the app component in the index.js with the browser router and the browser router will be imported from the react router dom so now you will see the router has been installed and now if i will now go to the react router dom in that so i will go to the react router.com so then you will see now it has a version 6.0 and then we will use the version 6 in that and now we need to go to the index.js which is a top level API of the React app and then we need to import the browser router from that like import and it will be the browser router from the React router DOM so we have to import it and then we have to wrap the app component with the browser router so here we need to add the browser router and then it will be closed here and then we need to wrap this app component within it so it will be the browser router here and then you will see now the app component is now wrapped and now we need to go to the app.js and then here we need to import here some things like first we need to import here the route so we need to import the route from the react router dom and then we need to wrap every single route component with the routes so we have to import the routes also and it will be the parent element for all the routes so it will we need to import the routes and then we need to declare some routes here like routes first the parent element and then we need to create some separate routes for the separate components and it will be like the route and we need to define the path and the path will be equals to like it will be the home and then it will be equals to the then we need to define the element element will be equals to this time like the product so we have a so we have here the product file so i will define here the product so it will be the product and then if i will now close this route so if I will now save and if I will now go to the product.js and I will define here like this is the product page. So if I will now save and if I will now run the server again like npm start. So then you will see it will be started in a moment and then you will see the route functionality will be there. So we have now given here the route as the path equals to a default path and the element will be rendered. It will be the product. So then we have to wait till it completes it. So we need to check it here. So now you will see this is now showing us that this is a product page. So now the product route is rendering from the main app component. So if I will now declare some more routes and if I will now declare here some more files within that. So it will be like the header dot js and it will be the home dot js. If I will now declare two components. And in the home.js, if I will now define here some importing from React from the React and the component function and then we have to export the component. And then if I will now define here with the div like this is like a home. And then if I will now go to the header and if I will now import again from the React and then declare the component function from that. And if I will render like this is a home, this is a header. So if I will now save and if I will now go to the app.js and if I will now copy this route and I will duplicate this route to two or more times for the header and the home. So it will be the route path equals to this, the element equals to the product. 
so we need to change the element and the path like the home will be rendered as the home so we need to import the home also so the home will be imported now you can see the import home from home so we need to wrap the header also and for the header the header will be available in the every route so we need to define here the header before the route so the header will be available for every route so if i will now save and if i will now go to the react app so then you will see the first it is in the home so then you will see this is a header and the header will be available through every page this is the home and if i will just move on to like the products page or like the default route so if i will remove the home so then you will see this will be the products then you will see this is now the product page and the header is still there so this is about defining the route and now if i will declare here some links at the navigation links and for the navigation links if i will move on to the header and if i will import the nav links from the react router dom so then i have imported and if i will now create a simple navigation bar here at the top so it will be the nav and then it will be the ul and the ul will contain a li and every li will be wrapped between the nav link so it will be the nav link and we need to define here the prop as the two and then it will be rendered to the path which will define here so it will be the two like the home or like the uh, default route and the default route will show us the products so it will be like the two and then we need to wrap here the li like this is the products so the products will be gone to the default route and if i will define another uh, nav link element here so it will be the another element so if i will define here like the two is equals to and now this time it will be equals to the home so it will be the home here to the home and it will be the home link so if i will now save and if i will now go to the react app so then you will see this is now showing us the products and the home so if i will click on the products so then you will see it is going to the default route which is the same route and if i will click on the home so then you will see this will go to the home and all of the things are working now and now if you want to add only the simple links and not the navigation links which we have used here so you just need to use there the link and i will define here the button like if i will go to the home and if i will define here some buttons so it will be like the uh, home will be containing a button here so the button here and now we need to import here the link from the react so it will contain the link so it will be imported from the react router dom so we need to define the link here and then the link will contain here a two prop again so the two will be equals to like the home for the default page and then it will contain here the and i will now close the tag so if i will now define here the button with the link and the button will contain like go to the uh, product so if i will now save and if i will now move on to the application so if i will now click on the home so then you will see it contains a link so if you will click on that so then you will see go to the products and the products are default page and now you will see it is showing us that uh, it is the underlined in that so if i will now wrap the button inside the link so we need to wrap button here also so the button will be gone here and here also it will be gone here so we need to wrap the text within the button so if i will now save so then you will see it will be now acted as a button so if you will click that so then you will see this is a product page and if you will click on the home so then you will see this is the home so this is about the routing in the react so thank you guys for watching the video and i hope you will like the video and guys please subscribe to our channel if you are new